morning everyone thank you so much for watching my youtube channels and uh, guys today i'm going to do the big tech companies tesla facebook or meta uh, and others guys so i'm going to tell you which one is is more 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 when you buy right now you get you get a lot of money or uh, profit and which one you cannot carry between those two stocks because so guys let's start with tesla tesla it has a great news right now even uh, i will go to tell you the news and uh, let's start with tesla uh the, the few days ago guys we say tesla you see tesla is going to 300 my personal prediction you know and always guys we started from here anybody was saying so anytime you see something like this on tesla you saw bouncing i, I say tesla bottom is 150 when day we saw this thread uh, the red candles from 150 to 160 and then from here to here it was 160 and then it, it bounces from 156 it ran all the way to 90 it came to Oh, seven one seventy eight. Why is said it right now? For my personal prediction, when you see whenever volume, guys, every time for me was different ten dollars, right? From one fifty to one sixty, and then from here to here, which was around one seventy, though also ten dollars, and then from here to here. Uh, almost uh, twenty dollars, and then from here to here, we are going to come another thirty dollars. Okay, we are going to two hundred and five between two hundred and five to two hundred and ten. Remember, this is the resistance line. This is the downtrend line, guys. Same as Tesla touches four hundred dollars by share. And then it came down to hundred dollars. So guys, uh, before I show you, Tesla is bullish, and uh, I have also to show you uh, Facebook or Meta. Meta is killing it, guys. So Meta is killing it. All of the big tech guys is killing it, and uh, man some of us and you we missed them uh right now facebook is you see on rsi is already rigid off a pot and then the line i draw off here for tesla guys this the line is following this was this before the non facebook when it was eight dollars was trading below here and then what happened after earnings he went above here and then since then it trended above the support line uptrend support line right so when you see tesla so facebook or a meta whenever it's in fact guys is always doing small correlation the next support for the facebook will be 200 and uh, i see facebook you may reach even 500 dollars per share and uh, if facebook will come back it has a strong support somewhere here 245 let's put there 245 and that will be somewhere here. and then so because it's already oversold to, to move uh or because rsi is on oversold overboard so it to, to that will make rsi drop at least to came around 65 here which is the stock is going to come down uh, anytime but it's just like ten dollars down since guys i was waiting facebook to come at again 100 dollars but what we missed it and um, because i promise you let me show you about the tesla now so tesla before i go to apple uh tesla what happened in tesla because tesla Today did partnership with the uh, uh, Ford. What happened? What what will be happen, guys? Whenever we read this, uh, 
downtrend Th this line guys you see over here this the uh, this line we watch right here that's a downtrend and then this uptrend uh, is now resistant because we are below it if we break th this uptrend so what will happen at this triangle guys you see over here that i draw three months ago or two months ago well, tesla is going to jump above probably or to come down but if we jump above we are going to trade above like a <coughs> like a facebook or a met and that's what i'm thinking if you miss with my tesla at 150 again you are going to miss at 190 again tesla is going to 300 and above I say my personal prediction by let's go to the news for Tesla uh, Tesla guys uh, uh, let me show you over here Tesla I don't know it's not yet the news is not here right now but Tesla did a uh, partnership with the Ford charging station and uh, I don't know why it's not here but maybe they will go to write later but that's the news for Ford so because I've already talked about the Ford, let's jump to Ford. Ford is trading around twelve dollars right now, as we speaking. Uh, uh, let me, uh, no, no, uh, Ford. Ford Automotive. Uh, I'm guys nowadays. I'm interested in Ford motor vehicle because for for, for let volatile guys on the Ford is not like the the other I don't know why. wait a minute is it you say there is not a Ford over here oh uh, yeah this one I'm talking this one yeah you see this is a huge volume of Ford is trading around twelve dollars because of what they did partnership like if you have the Ford Ifica Electrica you can go to the Tesla uh, uh, charging station to charge the Ford or you take Tesla to Ford charging station which is the great news and uh, by personally guys uh, I want to tell you Ford is a big company because it's a low is low risk than Tesla than uh, Raytheon, than Lucid, than Neo, than Xpeng, because it's always guys, you cannot lose a lot of money. In fact, I think this is the one of the interesting stock in EV, because these stocks always, you can't make you to lose a lot of money, in fact, but definitely you can pump to 300 and then it's, you can come to $100 to $50, you know, yeah, so that is the Ford. That the Ford is, is, is better than, for me personally, better than Tesla because you're gonna lose all the money, but you cannot get a lot of money. Tesla, you can lose a lot. You gain a lot. Okay, let's go to the Ford. No Ford. Uh, Apple. I want to spend uh, the big text right now because I think that's the uh, Apple right now is 175 and it's already reaching the uh, resistance which is around 176 if you will break there guys remember uh, apple cannot make uh, cannot move more 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 percentage you can move to 180 and uh, on the rsi guys it's not over so it's very interesting no uh, apple still have more uh, maybe Apple can break even two hundred dollars per share. It's a big tech. It's a it's a king, you know. And then uh, the uh, let's I'm going to talk about this the technicals over here. Uh, spy. Uh, I'll go to fix and then uh, <coughs> dollar. First of all, let's start with the spy SPX. XPX guys, I'm going to state this is for 4194 and uh, 
is Polish. That's it. Uh, it's a same motive. It's Polish. I'm done with the spy. Let's go to the volatile. Volatile, I think, is now hitting 17. Yeah, so no fear in the market. That's the best thing. Very interesting. Uh, let's see the dollar because that will be the last thing. Dollar, I think, is going to be. Dollar is moving. Remember, guys, I said yesterday that dollar is bullish, but here is the thing, guys. Dollar is going to be moving down. Is dollar is going to move? Is going to be oversold? When it reach oversold, because it's already is approaching oversold, you know, like stock or like AMC, GameStop, these them small, uh, stocks, market cap, is going to exploit, since when dollar is coming down, so dollar is going to be find the resistance, around. Let me show you. Yeah, so around 106 this is where uh, dollar is going to find the recession and it's going to make another coming down and then you know since I, I did the video some few days ago before the dollar break out and then we are going to forget this one right because right now we are going to talk about the uh, uh, dollar uptrend from here so this is the dollar uptrend of the breakout. So you are going to see dollar moving like that. My personal, I'm seeing go to dollar is going to be is going to be practice uptrend soon, and uh, bull market will start. We know recession is not recession is done, man. Yeah, thank you so much and. Uh, let's enjoy to watch bye